The world is becoming more and more electrified. It's not only electric drives in cars and the industries that are becoming more efficient, but also electric drives used in many areas of daily life, for example, in lifts or washing machines. The basis for this development are innovative measurement and analysis methods for electric drives, which present developers with even more ways to save energy. The, effic the efficiency of an electric motor can't be measured directly because it's the ratio of the electrical input power to the mechanical output power. That's why both have to be measured with high precision and, above all, simultaneously. At HBM Test and Measurement in Darmstadt, a combined measurement system has been developed called eDrive, which can acquire electrical and mechanical parameters at the same time and in high resolution. The performance of the eDrive solution can be demonstrated on a miniature test stand. It consists of the electric motor to be tested, a torque shaft, and a load dynamometer. All the electrical and mechanical parameters, like voltages, currents, torque, speed, canvas, and temperature are recorded. At the same time, the values measured are transferred to a data recorder. Like a typical power meter, the system delivers active power, reactive power, efficiency, lambda, cosine phi. However, since the system stores raw data too, one can also perform more extensive analyses. We've identified measurement technology for the optimization of electric drives as a key area for HBM and are very pleased to have found the perfect partner at the Steinbeis Transfer Center at the University of Aschaffenburg. The analysis methods for eDrive were developed at the Steinbeis Transfer Center Energy Efficient Power Electronics for Electrical Drives and Power Storage Systems at the University of Aschaffenburg. Professor Teigelkürter and his team are concerned with only one question. How can we make electric drives more energy efficient? There is no standardized way of raising the energy efficiency of drives. One method is to use more energy efficient components, but then the drive is often more expensive and the size of the machine increases too. The second method is to optimize the control methods in such a way that only the best efficiency is accessed. But as a result, the drive is strongly influenced, particularly in its dynamic performance. The third possibility is to optimize the operating strategy. The rotation speed of the drive motor is adapted to the process requirements. In this way, losses can easily be reduced by 20 to 40 percent. However, all the methods need to be tested in a test stand or in the actual application. At HBM and the Steinbeis Transfer Center, they are already working on new systems which can handle higher voltages. Through the further development of the data recorder and the new analysis methods, even more precise measurements on drives can be made, and thus the operating strategies of the drives can be improved. Here we are working on the optimization of synchronous machines. We are trying to optimize the control performance of machines, which can generate a high rotation speed without the use of permanent magnets. A further focal point of their cooperation is the development of freely configurable analysis tools for the next generation of electric cars. Both partners are looking forward to the coming challenges. Energy efficiency the driving force of the 21st century.